Have you ever seen deep sea trawling scars from industrial fishing? Let me introduce you to someone who has seen it firsthand in a submarine thousands of meters below the ocean surface. Hi, I'm Dr. John Moore. I'm a deep sea biologist. I've been down in Alvin and seen firsthand what it looks like on the New England seamounts. Essentially underwater mountains created by volcanic activity, the seamounts in the Northwest Atlantic off the coast of the United States create unique habitats for deep sea organisms. The volcanic rock, also known as basalt, allows for colonies of corals and sponges to settle here. These habitats are extremely delicate ecosystems with precious corals and rare species. This devastating image of industrial fishing damage was taken just outside the Northeast Canyons and Seamounts National Marine Monument, which was established in 2016. Areas like this inside the monument are now being threatened by review, which could potentially take away protections of this area and open it up to commercial fishing. Organisms in the deep sea grow really slowly. It could take centuries for this habitat to recover from just a few hours of commercial fishing damage. This is actually looking at an area before uh, any sort of trawling and an area afterwards. So if these seamounts, like Bear Seamount, are opened up to commercial fishing, especially bottom trawling, then there's going to be very long-lasting destruction of the habitats. We urge you to speak out and sign the petition to protect the Northeast Canyons and Seamounts National Marine Monument and the other national monuments at risk in the Pacific.